Hello everyone, Neuralnar here, and today I have an impromptu video that will probably be pretty short, but it's based on a viewer question. And the question is, will my microwave oven work on a modified sine wave inverter? Well, the direct answer is yes. Yes, it will. But there are qualifications to that answer. Uh, first, your microwave oven may not accurately register time. Some ovens will use the zero crossing to uh, clock the timer on the microwave. Most don't, in my experience, most do work properly that way, but uh, some may not. They will also buzz and be loud. They will not output the proper amount of power. And there's other issues with them. They'll run hot. If you operate them in a high duty cycle, they may overheat and eventually fail. But for most cases, for a microwave oven that costs $100 and less, it's really not a big deal. And yes, I would comfortably operate one off of a modified sine wave inverter. But I want to demonstrate what actually happens if I operate my microwave oven, which is behind the camera here, off of a modified sine wave inverter and a sine wave inverter. And here's my test setup. I have two Autocraft batteries, 24DC-1, uh, hooked up in parallel, and they will be powering my two inverters. The two inverters in question here are a 5,000 watt power jack inverter that I will be likely reviewing in the future. 5,000 watts is an outright lie. It is not a 5,000 watt inverter, but that's for a future video. So a 5,000 watt inverter from PowerJack. This is a pure sine wave inverter, and it's a pretty pure sine wave, at least at 1,000 watts-ish that a microwave oven takes. So. I'll be using this for my sine wave inverter in this case because I'm using whatever's most convenient at the moment. This is an impromptu video that I'm not spending a lot of time on after all. For my modified sine wave inverter, I'm using this 1500 watt X power inverter from Xantrex. And you can tell that it is significantly smaller, even though it has similar capabilities despite uh, the 5000 watt rating. In any case, this is a modified sine wave inverter. So I'll be comparing these two inverters. This is a traditional microwave oven with my reflection in the glass. This is a thing that I will put water into. And down here, this is a thing that I will use to measure water temperature. So we're going to hook the inverters up to this microwave and see how they heat up a certain quantity of water in a certain amount of time and see how the microwave operates off of each particular inverter pure sine wave, and modified sine wave. The first thing I'm going to do is run my faucet. I want the water temperature to be uniform for these tests. And you can see the soda that I drink here. Mmm, delicious. But uh, I want to make sure this is a uniform temperature for my test. I'm not sure what the ground temperature is this time of year around here, but I'll just let it run for a little while. And it seems to be stabilized pretty much. So I will take my water measuring device and uh, put, uh, let's just say, one half liter into this measuring cup. There's one half liter of water. So here's what we're going to do. The water temperature, as you can see, is 18 degrees Celsius, 17 or 18 right now and I'm going to put this in the microwave for two minutes. It will run off of my pure sine wave inverter for two minutes and then we will remeasure the temperature of this 500 milliliters of water and see how that works. This is a power jack 5000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Two minutes and I will hit start. It's operating off of the power jack inverter right now. It's extremely quiet. It operates exactly as it would off of my wall power, if not better, in fact. Here's the extension cord running up to my uh, microwave oven. It's usually plugged into an outlet up here, but uh, for now I just have it plugged into my inverter. And we're gonna let this run for two minutes, and then I will remeasure the temperature. 
Again, the microwave operates exactly as it would off of wall power as far as I can tell. And we're going to see how much the temperature of this water increases off of this pure sine wave inverter. And then compare it to a modified sine wave inverter. One thing I do want to note and record is the output voltage. This inverter under load actually outputs only 110 volts RMS. So 110 volts is the output voltage to the microwave of this 5000 watt inverter. So 110 volts. It just ended. We'll take the hopefully hot water out of the microwave and see how much our pure sine wave inverter increase the temperature of this one half liter of water. Stir it up a little bit just to make sure that it's uniform. And my thermocouple meter is reading 52 degrees Celsius. So it went from, I believe it was 17 to 52. So that's about 35 degrees Celsius. So once again we have the same amount of water at uh, about 17 degrees Celsius. This one happens to be 18 but uh, not an important distinction. So I will take my one half liter of water and put it into my microwave oven. Now this microwave is now operating off of a modified sine wave inverter. A phase corrected modified sine wave inverter. Put it on two minutes, hit start, and you might be able to hear that it buzzes horribly, but uh, the cook time still works, even though it buzzes. This microwave may overheat eventually, but it seems to work fine for now. Here's the modified sine wave inverter, and the output voltage is 122 volts. This one was only 110 volts, if I remember correctly, so we'll have to take that into account when we do our calculations. Here's our microwave oven, still buzzing away, spitting out hot air. And uh, yes, it's operating less efficiently off of modified sine wave than it would be true sine wave. But how important is that, really? Well, in low duty cycles, it probably doesn't matter a whole lot, but it could yield um, overheating of the internal transformer, magnetron, etc. in this uh, microwave oven if you use this for long periods of time. Most people don't do that however, so I really wouldn't care. This may be a $350 microwave. I wouldn't operate this off of modified sine wave in most cases, but for a standard $100 type microwave, I wouldn't have any problem with that at all because you can always just buy another microwave. So there's two minutes. And let's take this water out and see what kind of temperature we get out of a modified sine wave inverter in these same circumstances. Stir this water up a little bit. Make sure that we get a uniform temperature. And take a look at what the temperature actually is. It started out at the same temperature as before but you can see that now the temperature is only 41 degrees Celsius. Wow, that's a lot less, isn't it? Sure, it started out at 18 and now it's 41, so yes, this microwave oven still worked, and it still worked pretty well, but yeah, not nearly as well as sine wave, did it? Now, based on what we've just seen, it may seem that this microwave oven works much, much better off of pure sign than modified sign. But that's not the whole story, is it? It also depends on how many watts this particular microwave actually draws on each one. Sure, it didn't heat the water as quickly on a modified sine wave inverter, but what if it also took a lot less wattage? If it took a lot less wattage and it still heated water, at about the uh, same rate per watt, then it wouldn't be a big issue. So let's also test that. I have a watt meter plugged into the modified sine wave inverter, and I'm just going to uh, start the microwave. So it's running for uh, a minute, doesn't matter how long. Let's go take a look at the inverter now. This is actually the pure sine wave inverter that is running the microwave and it is taking almost 1,500 watts. 
That's what the microwave is actually drawing out of the power. Now the inverter efficiency I'm not going to include because I don't want to include that here. It is taking about uh, 1500 watts out of the pure sine wave inverter. Let's uh, now plug it into the modified sine wave inverter and see what kind of wattage that the microwave draws out of this one. The microwave oven in the exact same configuration is now operating off of this modified sine wave inverter. And you can see that instead of 1500 watts, it is now drawing about 1100 watts. So what does that actually mean? Well, let's uh, take a look at the past footage and see what this means in terms of microwave efficiency. Now one thing it does mean is that the microwave makes a lot more noise off of this inverter here. But how much less efficient is it, really? Well, let's find out. So what's the end result here? Well, pretty much, even though the modified sine wave inverter had a 10 volt advantage over the pure sine wave inverter, the microwave oven behind the camera here actually had 10% more power off of the pure sine wave inverter than the modified sine wave one. So yes, if you want maximum power out of your microwave, you most definitely want a pure sine wave inverter. It's also much quieter, it won't overheat, and there's lots of other benefits. So pure sine wave is ideal. That's pretty much a given though, so that's not much of a surprise. So how about efficiency? The phase corrected modified sine wave inverter was about 10% less efficient than the pure sine wave inverter when running my particular microwave oven. Yours may be different, but this is just mine heating a cup of water. So will your microwave oven operate off of a modified sine wave inverter? Yes. Yes, it most definitely will. There are certain exceptions, specifically for the clocking circuitry. Some of them may not work exactly correctly off of modified sign. Uh, most that I've seen do, but uh, some may not. In any case, it will operate slightly less efficiently, in my case 10% less, and around 20% less in terms of performance, but it will still run, it'll buzz, it'll be potentially annoying, but yeah, it'll run. And that's pretty much the result of this experiment. So will your microwave oven operate off of a modified sine wave inverter? Sure. Is it better off of pure sine wave? Yes, most definitely. But I would not hesitate to run a cheap microwave oven off of a modified sine wave inverter. However, I would use a pure sine wave inverter if you can afford it, and specifically if you have an expensive microwave. But uh, thanks for watching.